Okay, guys. You know, I um, I want to say something that's been on my mind for um, quite some time, um, and I can direct this at a specific person, event, actually a bunch of events from the same person, um, as well as um, other people that have or try to persuade an irrelevant situation, conversation, intention of which they don't even know why they're doing it. Um, so if you're one of these people, whether you get offended or not, it's not my problem. Um, because every time you do this, it empowers me even more. I feel even, you're putting me up this pedestal, like you're putting me up there. Okay. So I want to say a little something that there is someone, you know, he watches me for years. It's been over five years. This guy's been watching me for over five years, whether it's through Facebook, because I used to have on my old account, I used to have an old account, 2009, 2010, I used to have a lot of um, poetry and a lot of like experiences that I've had through uh, spiritual initiations, a lot of pain that I went through. Um, just callings of what I've like felt since I was little, like meditations that I used to do when I was like really young. Um, I went through an initiation uh, from Hecate because I had a picture up of her. Um, her three aspects holding a serpent, a, t a torch, a flaming torch, and a key, and the three crossroads. And I had shared this experience that I had. And so I attracted a lot of witches my way, okay? And I mean, all my life I've attracted them, but, which is nothing wrong. I'm not blaming anything on witches or whatever, but, um, so yeah, like I had a lot of people that are pretty well known now, um, who like, for example, a girl, she, um, um, had like photo, like a professional photo done. I believe she's a dancer on YouTube. Um, she, this was before she had that photograph done way before. And this is before she even became like famous on YouTube for her dancing. She added me on Facebook because she really liked my post. And yeah, so she used to like my posts and, you know, things like that. And, um, I believe she's from Canada, but, so yeah, there was this guy, and I, just like his conversations were completely irrelevant. I mean, you want to send me a message, you want to say hi, you want to get to know me, or I get to know you, or whatever, that's fine, but when it comes to somebody trying to get their mind frame, which I don't even think he even knows what the hell he's talking about half the time, to someone else, is so, not even a turn off, but it's so irrelevant, and it's a fucking turn off, it's a fucking turn off, you want to turn a girl on, even if, like, whether you're attracted to her physically or not, you want to turn her off, just fucking Give her that mind frame of which you don't even know what you're doing. Okay, that's a turn off. I'm sorry. But telling me that you're a skeptic of everything, every single time you try to talk to me for five years, even after I blocked you, and then you try to re-add me, you try to send me emails, you look me up on Google+, Plus, you send me messages there, you send me on email, you send me on YouTube, you send me on Facebook, God knows where else all my other emails, you try to hack into my emails, you know, wherever part of the world you're from, and then you're telling me that you're a skeptic when I've never even asked you. <laughs> okay, so the only thing I'm hearing when you send me these skeptic things, especially when I don't even ask you, is you're in love with me, you're obsessed with me, you want to be with me, okay? That is what I'm hearing. And I'm up here, and you want to get here, but you cannot get there. You cannot get up here because you're skeptical of who you are and your mind frame, and you know your mind frame is not even 
close to my mind frame, my mind frame, my empowerment, my level of whatever it is that you believe I am. So you know, you know we're not on the same level. So you're skeptical. Then you gotta keep changing your stories up. You gotta keep, like, especially when I don't even ask. Like, I'm ranting right now because it's amazing how people, and then they ask me why I block and delete them. It's like, if you're sending me 20 messages a day for five years, and it makes absolutely no sense, and I tell you, you know, especially when I tell you, you know, back off, or you're disrespecting me, or, and then you lash out on me because of your sick desires or fantasies of me, especially when you got a girlfriend at home who is supposedly a model, okay, <laughs> like, which I, again, I don't even ask, nor do I care, I have my life to take care of, I don't care, I, thank you, thank you, I must, I really, I must be some sort of shit, big shit for you to want to keep being skeptical of, yet still need attention from me and my approval of your skeptic skepticism, if that's even a fucking word, if I'm even making sense, <laughs> skepticism, skepticism, I hope I'm saying that right, let me tell you something, I don't give a flying fuck if you believe in religion, I don't give a flying fuck if you're science, Scientologist, if you're an atheist, if you worship the wall, if you worship a goat, if you worship a monkey, if you worship yourself, I don't fucking care. I've never cared, nor have I ever debated with someone in terms of getting into someone's internal belief systems. Unless they come and they question me and they ask for an advice or an opinion, then I'll kind of, you know, get in there and give a little. But by all means, when have I ever given a flying fuck? Let me tell you something. If I respect you, you'll know it. If I want you in my life, you'll know it, okay? It is what it is. And if you're chasing after me after five years and I still don't give a flying fuck, well then, maybe the answer is right there. Maybe you don't, you should try. You should stop trying so hard to uh, keep lowering your own um, respect. You know, you're, you're disrespecting yourself. You're not disrespecting anybody else except yourself. So, um, if I've offended you, I don't care. Um, if I've smartened you up, I, I, I don't think that's highly impossible because, um, it doesn't take five years for someone to keep repeating the same stupidity, you know? So, again, I must be some big shit that you're really, truly obsessed with because, um, you know, the fact and the, the truth of the matter is when you go home when you go home and you have sex with your so-called model girlfriend, obviously you're thinking about me and I'm on your mind that you gotta send me these messages, you know? So um today is the portal. Every day is a portal. We have an opening of portals, but today is November the eleventh, eleven eleven. The year 2015, so that equals eight. Abundance, eternity, infinity, my life path number. Um, as above, so below. So, if I've opened up a gate, if I've opened up a portal for backing away the fucking retards from my life, well then so be it. Okay, so, fuck off.